everyone and welcome back to another episode of From My Kitchen to Yours. I am your host and chef Melissa and I am so excited to present to you this delicious and flavorful seafood soup because it is perfect for the cold weather. So enough of me talking, let's get to cooking. fry the tomatoes, onions, and garlic onto the pot. So you want to add about a third of a cup onto the pot. After it heats up, we are then going to add these three vegetables and stir until they're thoroughly fried. So now that the tomatoes, garlic, and onion is thoroughly cooked, you then want to add your carrots, your potatoes, and I say about two carrots, two potatoes, and your cabbage with squash. So now that the vegetables cooked for about two minutes, we're gonna add about half a gallon of water. And then you're also gonna add about two tablespoons of salt, two tablespoons of the chicken flavors. You will mix. You wanna add your heat up a little bit higher so it cooks well. So while we wait for our soup to boil, we then boiled some water to add our chili pots in there. We're gonna add both types. Say about four of these and three of the ancho ones. And we're gonna let them cook for about six to eight minutes. So after the six to eight minutes have passed, we can now take them out and we will put them straight into the blender. And once all the chili pots are in the blender, you wanna add about a fourth a cup of water from the same water you used to boil. And then it's ready to blend. And now that the soup has come to a boil, we're ready to add the chili pot blend. And you wanna use a strainer, and this will give it a little bit of spiciness. Now that we added the chili pot mix, we're also ready to add our seafood mix. Just put it here as such. And we will let them in here for about 15 more minutes at a low flame. Now the moment we've all been waiting for. This is the grand finale of a seafood soup and you can pair with some bread and some lime, but let's give it a try first. Oh my God, this is delicious. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Stay tuned for next week as I make some carne asada tacos. Mm -hmm. 